It's like um, it's like playing Tomb Raider. It is, yeah. You just cool. need to find the right doors and stairs. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, we need to go down. Fuck, he's got a weak, weak bottom. Yeah, that's why I look like him. I don't know boys, but we're going down. This is part of the tunnels. Sorry, sorry. That's that. Ah, oh, shit. Right, we're in the wrong place. But that's the arches. That's the Victorian arch, part of the Victorian arches. But yeah, they've blocked it all off and they're using it as bin area now. So, yeah, we're looking through there, wouldn't we? Yeah, that would have led into the underground tunnels of... Um... So first one, bit of a fail, they've kind of blocked them up there. But we will end up underground in this episode, I swear to you. I am not leaving until we are underground. Wait a minute, is this not underground? Down. We've got JB and SB. It's a mirror and doors and shit. I'm an old staircase. There's a boiler room there. Eh? <laughs> it actually attacked me. It's close. Please flat back all cardboard before putting in bins. That's the door. There's an old door. Which one's the door? Which one's the open? What the fuck? No. No. It's just a cupboard. Does end there, yeah. Yeah. That's hollow or whatever it is. Uh, guys, I think so. I'm getting my torch out. It's not Vix. Yeah, a bit of water. It always ventures off. It always ventures off, trust me. I might, I might buy a porn star. Uh, so that's his first American diner, I think. Uh, second, I've been in the one at Carlisle. Um, Carlisle has an American diner? It has Ed's, I think it's called. But it's oh, Ed's, Ed's is here, they just shut it down though. Yeah, shut it down. No way, yeah. the whole thing must have gone under. I used to go there for my uh, pints of Pepsi. Pints? Yeah. I think, I think it a, yeah, it's a pint of Pepsi, yeah. Wow. All hail America. For all the American viewers, which is like 85%. Yeah. 85% of my viewers are American. Well, to every American viewer, all hail America. Lucky. Always with banana. You have to be the awkward one. Why? The banana's horrible. So, Why, yeah, but it's either banana or strawberry, I guess. Why would you even consider banana? Because I don't like chocolate. Why? I don't like chocolate. What about strawberry? It's all right. It doesn't, it's, got, it's got whipped cream and everything on it. It's going to be an American flag. Shout out to all the American really viewers. Good. Yeah, I think so. Like a full on banana. Yeah. Like you just bent it right in the glass. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you, you bent it into that thing and then, and then blended it. <laughs> That'd be quite cool. He's just sipping it and it's going down, a banana pops up. <laughs> right then. So, at the moment, guys, we are stood around Cathedral. Uh, this grid here in front of us, this grid right here in front of us. Pan like the camera, camera flex. flex. Pan the camera. I was miles away looking at the, the volume that you do again. <laughs> so these tunnels below us, um, this is, I think this is actually the old air raid shelters that lead into the Victoria tunnels, which is part of the Victoria arches where the waterways are. A lot of ships used to come through there and they used to dock, get all the goods out and used to go off into Manchester. The tunnels spread throughout Manchester, it's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty haunted down this ways as well. Um, I'm stood here in the middle of Manchester city centre and it's 9pm and uh, I 
basically to open this manhole which is short but it's just extremely heavy and then climb down into the abyss so that's what we're going to do right now Yeah, Bucky. Hey, have you ever thought about how the fuck you're going to open it? Yeah. How? How? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Fuck me, Dad, wouldn't we? Just call up there and pull that down, please. <laughs> Heavy. Yeah, but we've pushed it over that a couple of us. It took me a long time, yeah, but I'm just thinking, like, pushing that grid up where I might just do that. So this is a medical post to the arches 567. We're going to head down that way, that's the Victorian arches. That was uh, run along the river in Manchester. Uh, docking stations for all the ships coming in, bringing gear, um, I don't know what, like a, you know, a cup of beer, vegetables, anything. So we're gonna check out most of these areas. So guys, come with me as I explore the underground Manchester that hasn't been seen properly in a long, long time. There has been a couple of people down here, but literally nothing decent has been done. So I'm here to document this and bring this forward. So as you can see, remnants of, uh, I'm not actually sure what I, that is. Oh wait a minute, are they showers? I don't know, I'm just looking at that thing there. Ah, <laughs> oh, so this is the toilets. This is the Victorian toilets underneath Manchester. As I walk down these steps, it feels like I'm walking through time. Yeah, I'm gonna milk, I'm gonna walk slow and milk that. That's cool. It looks like we've had a few vandals in it. I don't know, I don't even know if that's been vandals that's taken whatever there was there, but it looks like the piping's been taken out. So this is the little rooms I saw before. These have been shut since 1920 from what I've read online. These haven't seen a light of day in a long time. I have no idea what this part would have been used for. But we've got windows there, so maybe this was one street level. This could have been street level at one point. Or it's slightly below street level. At the top of these stairs may have been street level. I'm gonna to venture towards the back here. There's Flex. Shout out to Flex, Urban Explorer, and check him out. One of my good friends. We've got this. Uh, why would you have this in there? In the leather toilets? Maybe that shouldn't be there. I'm guessing so. Got the old toilets. And that's been blocked up and I wonder why. Makes me wonder why that's been bricked up. I know there's tunnels that branch off all over Manchester. There's so many hidden tunnels and I'm going to be hitting every one. I'm going to be going in and... Oh, that light switch hasn't been pressed down in 90 years. I'm going to be going down every tunnel I can find. Finding these hidden locations and gems around Manchester. I believe we are going to fall on. 
underground. Sorry, sorry, say that again, Flax. We're in an underground world. It's like people used to come in here every day. <laughs> now it's like, but like people walk across it day by day, not knowing it's even here. I, mean, I just that's, that's why we're here. I, mean, I just can't take you seriously, Flax. Why? I don't. I'm turn the screen around so you can see. Oh God. <laughs> 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 Look at the old uh, springs on the doors. And all empty so toilet seats are probably wooden as well. The ones that are remaining. I don't want to spend too long looking at toilet seats, but yeah, they are wooden. Look at them. They're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. You don't get stuff like that made anymore. That's an actual blacksmith that has had to make these. <laughs> you don't get that these days. Actually looks like something out of... Oh, it actually looks like some out of Silent Hill. Dude, it's flooded. You know, I've got, I've got a Snapchat list. Check out my Snapchat cage, Dan24. I put on a lot of stuff, what we're doing before we actually do it. So, uh, not, not like time travel, but I do it, you know. You'll see it first. So I'm leaving what is the bathroom area. Going back up these amazing stairs. These would have been made by blacksmiths probably. See there, had a wooden handle on at one point. It's corroded off though. So, as Flex, actually, you know what? This goes even more underground. Oh, it's a strong smell of sewage, though. Well, where was that? Arches number one, two, and three. So these have been the first arches. And there's some steps that originally would have come from the side of the pavement, the top of Manchester. So don't forget, there is people right above us. As we stand down here, people have no idea what is going on below them. Not very safe, are they? They are in the middle. So as we venture further down into No, it's sewage. What? to arch number one. Such a takes us through somewhere else. This is 1B. Just think right now we're probably, we are, we're probably under like, you know, the Arndale Center or somewhere like that. Oh no, actually, if there's another tunnel that we're gonna be investigating, which is under Arndale Center. But this is arch number 1B. So this realistically should lead you out to the water, but I think it has been bricked up. It's still going. There's more rooms down there. What? Water. That's water, you're fine. We don't need to venture too far in here. It's water. <laughs> that 
Chào anh em been some form of old ventilation just stuffed in here but look at this is that lime yeah lime deposits falling from the roof it's a bit wet like in the other room looks like some form of old ventilation yeah it is generators and fil filtration systems Uh, how crazy is that? Hollow wine. So as we walk through here, I'm not gonna lie, the feeling I'm getting is, I don't know, it's just weird, a very strange feeling. I can almost feel the history down here. What's in there, Flex? Just rooms. I mean, I reckon they'll be set up in the sections, won't they? Do you know what I mean? As you can see, it's gunky as hell. Oh, my brave in it. Oh, it's getting thick. Look at this old, old archway here. Oh, There's nothing in here. There's nothing. The room's just... Hold on. You can, you can get through these little holes here. We can get through these little holes here. But I don't know if that... Let's venture into here. Oh, look at the old... Street lamp there. That's cool as hell. And we can go through these other ones. Well, there is a doorway that we could have come through. <laughs> I decided to go through the little holes because they're cool. Another old street lamp. So I wonder what this part was used for. I don't know what. I don't know if it was storage or what. I think they did. Oh, look at them amazing switches. They are cool as hell. On and off. They're actually, no, I don't know if they're light. They might be brass, just corroded. Mm. Oh, they're cool. History right there, guys. The thing is, Bucky, Bucky can't whisper. So when Bucky talks, Bucky echoes. Bucky floods the whole bloody underground with his voice. Because he talks like this. Hey, but Flex. No, this is this is Arch A. Yeah, it does smell sewage. And as we've Notice it is. That looks like an old poster of some form. Construct. That's an old poster that's literally embedded itself into the wall. Yeah, you can see the bits there. Yeah. Central so. Police Office, South Street. There's been a poster, just an information yeah, board. So this has been shut since the 40s. As we come down the corridor, where thousands of people would once walk. Ladies, bathroom in that way. You know what, the, the, the men's bathrooms look so much better. The men's bathrooms were really cool, but the women's bathrooms, you can't even tell, you can't even tell it was a bathroom. I need to go back on the gentleman. So we just saw something now that uh, rings so true and you see it and this looks like it's been here for a long time. 28 days later, 
sucks donkey balls. Yeah, that's quite true. A lot of them do. There's some nice old lights here. Oh, I don't, know. I don't know what this place would have been. This would have just been a trade route, maybe. I think it might be like an electric, where the electric floating versus a. Might have been a yeah, look at them. They'd probably have been lit up with neons. Where's your oh. It's a beautiful door. <laughs> the cobwebs and the rust. It, just looks magnificent. No, in all seriousness, guys, it's amazing to be in such history. Oh, look at that rust, though. Look at that rust, guys. So as we come through here, there's a lot of bricks on the floor. Not sure where these have come from. And a really old door squashed there. <laughs> what is this? Some kind of meter. Oh, that's cool as hell. What's that? I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, it might have just been to power everything, yeah. That's electric. I'm, I'm definitely electric. I'll it's beautiful, is what it is. It's ap apocalyptic beautiful, but it's still beautiful. It was weird how they've used tiles. <laughs> it just looks like a bathroom, but. But look at this, guys. I have no idea how the sparkling lemonade. Like, let's, let's find the date on this. Uh, I don't even know where that's from. I have no idea, guys. If anyone knows how old that is, leave a comment. Do some research for me. Leave a comment. Tell me, tell me, guys, how old do you reckon that is? So we're continuing to walk down here now, this long corridor. We're now approaching Arch 11. I didn't know there was this many arches. Oh wow. See steps. Some more steps, but it, it's like just another big empty arch. Oh, this one still has the wood on it. Ah, oh, it does as well. This one still has the wood on. Well, I think Flex has found something, which is possibly arch number 11, 12, sorry, 10, 10? how's it going down again? 12, 12 told you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, look at the limestone on that. As we approach the limestone, as you can see, it is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. That's hooks there. You see the thickness of that lime. Yeah. It's just taking over that light there, Flex. That light now belongs to me. That light. This might have been like a. This might have been like a depot bit. We might have had a desk on the other side or here at one point. Yeah, it looks like a desk here, and you'd have people coming down, and they'd sort out the business behind here. The amount of people coming in and out of here from the 19, well, from the 1800s to the just after the war to the 1940s. The business that would have gone on through here is what probably built Manchester. This is the foundation of Manchester, and it's left like this. Why? This must be arch number 13. More of the old ventilation shafts. Some parts are slightly more decaying than others. So if any of you guys are watching, you live in Manchester. This is what's going on down below your feet. You might not even know it. I know of about 
70 different tunnels that run through the underground Manchester. And a lot of these are unknown because they run under banks, they run under major buildings, cathedrals. And you just, people, people just don't know. I think people need to be more aware of stuff like this because this is culture, this is history. And whether it's ugly or not, it's the reason why Manchester is so big. Because of all this trade. We went through here and into another massive arch. It's just, it seems never ending. The arch is number 15 and number 17. It says something water. So guys, this is uh, this is it. We're leaving now. These beautiful doors that have sat for over a hundred years. Oh, old, old man, just like proper, like uh, you know, trade. Would you would have built these? The carpenter would have actually made these. They wouldn't have been mass produced. These are. Carpenter down the road locally would have made these doors. That was probably his happiest day when someone approached him and said, "Listen, we need to, we need you to make like uh, 17 sets of doors for these arches and all these other doors." That was probably the best. He probably built a, a, a foundation on just them sales alone. Probably, probably. <laughs> uh, huh. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's going right up. Hey, there's another manhole cover. Yep. <laughs> That's a bit more of a drop though, that one. That sound like... Oh, sound. Right above, we can actually hear cars driving over the street. It's such a weird feeling. Hey, look at this one. This one's a metal gate. This one's a metal door. I wonder why. That's where that generators and stuff Ah, I uh, didn't like it. Yeah, oh, let me get cinematic. That's beautiful. Yeah, See, that's this is what we need to look... Oh, look at this old torch. Oh, man, look at that. Just as I was saying, we need to look on the floor more. Look at that. That's definitely from the 80s. I remember them. Like, not that I was, like, uh, proper alive in the 80s. I was, like, three years old. I've had them really old batteries in. Yeah, that's cool as hell. Cool plan. You want to use them that to walk around Yeah. It's like these over here. These are amazing. Let me get a of these. That's what I mean. That's what makes it so unreal to be here. The fact that hundreds and millions of people would have come through here yeah, and it's just been forgotten about and the gents are so we'll try peeling them off right see here's a reminiscence of a poster from the 1940s manchester chief constable police uh so probably a raid somewhere or other Let's see if we can find a more untouched one. This is beautiful in, here, in this part, guys. Look how scary these are. So I'm going up the steps here to the gents. Second time I've been up here, but it's just absolutely amazing. Look at that. It just looks like it's out of out of the. Um, Film, Silent Hill, the game. Here's the old shutters. These have been shut when it was closed off. It's crazy. Now, we're, we're basically, we've been around it now, and now we're just going around looking for any kind of artifacts or anything that's been left behind that we've not seen on the floor. Paper towels. That's cool. Yeah, the batch is in the big light, it's starting to look dead now, so I'm having to use this torch as well. Yeah, that's beautiful, that nice one. Fucking <laughs> Jesus, Bucky! <laughs> Trying to do a fucking serious documentary and he's fucking blasting wind over there. Um, <laughs> shit happened. 
Oh, well, I might have felt a little in your thing. Yeah? Yeah. Well, mine's nearly dead anyway. So guys, this is it. This is definitely goodbye. So guys, that's it. That's my tour of the underground um, I don't know what you call it, the arches, the underground Victorian arches of Manchester, uh, very, very early 1800s. Um, but saying that though, we can see where they built the arches and they built them around other arches and other things. So maybe there was, you know, stuff here that predates the early. The, I'm going to shine the torch behind me because I don't like walking on black man. Now walking through. Swampy walk. The things we do for these videos guys, the things we do. <laughs> so we're out guys. <laughs> you know what? That grid was like, I swear to god, it was like four inch thick iron grid. It was just, it was just crazy. So yeah, we finally got out. We're obviously in the middle of Manchester. Look at the state, right there. All this is going home right below your feet and you don't even know it. I can't believe it. It's crazy. I can't wait to see what else we find underground. Yeah, if anyone knows any un underground spots in uh, in Manchester, hit me up. Hit me up on Instagram. No, no, Manchester. I'm doing this. Is this series is literally just the secrets of. Manchester. And now this is our next obstacle. Getting down here. But my first impressions of walking through here it kind of feels like I'm walking back through time. The bridge, 1650. As you can see here as well. This bridge here, people used to. The things we put ourselves through for you guys, you have no idea. In the blistering heat, we're in these ridiculous looking outfits. I mean, I'm not even joking. Look at the state of this. Look at the state. To go through a river to get into the underground Manchester and network of tunnels. Haven't been seen for a long, long time. What do you think, Bucky? Are we daft? No. No, it's all fun and games. And look at Bucky. Bucky's repping the all light hat. Hold on. You will see the torches as soon as we get into the underground. <laughs> all light has uh, sent me some lights to test out, so we're going to test them when we get into the darkness. Yep. Shout out to All Light. Right, so we managed to get down the embanking. Now let's just pray that the waders my cousin gave me uh, are still waterproof. Let's go. Well, so far so good. Let's watch out, it's really rocky. Let's watch out, it is very rocky. Get to the other side. It's getting deeper. The waders are holding up. They're doing well. Well, so far, so good. And the problem is, my cousin is a size 11 foot, and I'm a size 9, so these waders are way too big for me. But they're doing well, I'm not going to complain. Look, red plate there. Oh, there's a car red plate in there. You can't see it because Buck has kicked up all the mud. Hopefully, the camera's a little bit more stable. I've not got it on my, my electronic stabiliser, but I've got a new tripod. Oh, and poor Bucky's been nettled. We've got um, a new tripod. So hopefully it feels a bit more stable because that gorilla pod I was using, I'm not even joking you guys, 
if you're going to buy a gorilla pod i advise not to it was absolutely terrible it broke numerous times when it's brand new i had this brand new camera on it the a7s2 fell off because uh the the head mount kit snapped so yeah i won't buy one so here's some of these beautiful victorian arches and you can see all this is coming from a flood Sounds like the water's there. Okay. Sounds like there's a big stream of water behind the wall. There is. There might be some other growth on there. And now this is our next obstacle. Getting down here. You think you can still jump it? Yeah, it's alright. It's not that deep, I can use it. No. Uh, that's that bit climbed down and now we've got to get down here but look at some of the mess absolute mess down here uh, go on Bucky I'll follow you all the that's weird wow they go so tight Scandalous. <coughs> Teamwork makes the dream work, as Josh says. But right now, we are in underground Manchester, going underneath. We've got a crowd of people at the top watching us. And uh, we're going to go into the depths. But first, I'm going to check out some of the uh, torches that have been sent because we're getting really dark down here. So let's put them to the test. It'll be better when we get down there, it's because that light from behind. So I'm actually going to demonstrate the torches when I get around this corner because it's darker. I want to get the uh, full experience of these torches. So this actual construction dates back to 1840. When the culvert was built, it was built pretty much just to uh, cover all the streams and stuff. So there was no flooding. And obviously they were building a newer city on top. There's parts of this down here that date back to 1650, including a wooden cattle bridge that used to link two nearby villages, and now United Utilities use it to run piping through. It's amazing how wooden construction has survived since 1650. But my first impressions of walking through here kind of feels like I'm walking back through time. There's a strong, strange smell. It's kind of giving me the impression of what it would have smelled like back in the Victorian age. People throwing feces and their own crap out of the windows. So yeah, it's, it's kind of like walking through history down here. I'm, I just feel so lucky I'm able to do stuff like this. And I feel so lucky that I'm able to show you guys this history. So guys, I'm going to do a quick test on these torches. So this is uh, some torches that I do use normally. Steve bought that in a shop for like £40. And that one only cost me like £5 off eBay. I've used a lot of these kind of torches and they do always break. So it's good that I'm going to be using some quality products. and. Um, and yeah, I'm going to use them for some time and I'll let you know how they cope maybe next month or the month after. But um, yeah, so <laughs> I've actually got three here. I did have four. Uh, I think one of them has fallen out uh, at home because it's literally this big. It was on a little key ring, this big. So uh, I'll have to review that on another video. But um, this one, this one was the second smallest to send me. It's like a little pencil. I feel like I've got stuff with spiders all over the walls down here. So uh, one click. Uh, so one click doesn't do very much 
it's uh, it's not very bright but flip it on and off again and you can see it's illuminating down there quite a lot and for something this this small that's quite good I'm not gonna lie especially if you just a little emergency thing just clips on somewhere this is the second biggest torch you sent me now this one I like the most I think because I'm gonna be using this one today quite a lot not only can you clip it on you and use it like that but you can also clip it to head mount as you can see on the instructional video so this is the head mounted one as you can see I'm gonna be using this one today a lot it lights up the whole place compared to this one that I'm always using just goes to show don't buy cheap torches I didn't realize until now so also put on its brightest setting so that is the brightest setting on this torch this is a head mounting one compared to this this was a 40 pound one that Steve bought for the car cave as you can see I don't know if you can even see that. Steve actually uses to go down the car cave with. Now, would you trust that? Or would you trust that? I know which one I'm gonna pick. And obviously, there's the big boy. Looks good, in it? Looks good, doesn't it? That's his brightest setting. Now this, it retails quite high, but you pay for what you get, you really do. With, with, with torches, it's, it's a matter of safety as well. So, um, I know what I'm going to be using from now on. I'm going to be sticking with all light, uh, seeing what they're like. And obviously, if you do go over and buy any, there'll be a link in the description below, and that's an affiliation link, so I'll get 10% of whatever you whatever you buy. But the money will just go towards uh, equipment for the Explorer anyway, so I don't actually make any money. It just goes back into the channel. But they're not, they're not sponsoring me, so I'm giving an honest review. They sent me these for free, and that is the coolest thing ever. It actually glows in the dark. So if you drop this and it did go out for any reason when it hit the ground, you're still going to be able to find it. So right now, I'm going to use the head-mounted torch. Clip straight on, magnetic, and then just put the rubber band around, and boom, you're good to go. So most of the lighting now is going to be produced by this. I'm going to have my little floodlight as well, but most of everything is going to be illuminated by this torch. These are all storm drains. Obviously, we're not getting any storms anywhere in the UK right now. I'm actually going to turn the headlight off for a little bit just because of all these flies. They're all attacking my face. Looks like they sent it there. Oh, they are. Got that old might be, there might be some up in the street above. Oh, that's actually the 
The only thing that's illuminating this tunnel right now is that major O light torch. Not bad. Considering this is my flood, flood light that I use every time. Turn it off. That's my flood light. And turn yours on. Turn the O light big boy on. And look at that. And here we are coming up to a bridge. Now, like I was saying, this bridge dates back to 1650, where it used to link two villages. That's incredible. And that's it, the bridge. 1650 that was constructed and it still is there today now that's amazing yeah yeah wooden bridge from 1650 so what would that have been used for? cattle yeah that was for getting cattle uh, across the river from uh, village to village there was actually a number of these bridges down here but this is the last remaining one I got some water to go through again. It's not, it's not, it's not too bad, not too deep. No, that that's a, a shoot. Look, that goes up to a a manhole. Now that. It's pure history right there, guys. We do not see stuff like this anymore. This could be one of the last remaining bridges from that era. Watch the wall. And spiders all over it. Covered in spiders, guys. These walls are covered in these black spiders all over. It's making me twitchy as hell. <laughs> all the way along that. Everywhere. So as you can see there guys, there's a light coming from inside that bridge because it's used for Unite Utilities. Look at that. It doesn't look like it's got any rock on it at all, does it? No. It's getting a bit deeper here. Oh, it's getting smelly now. Yeah. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording them, but a rat came running straight at us and I kind of panicked because I was shining my light at it so he couldn't see, so it was running at me. <laughs> and I nearly fell in the water. I'm just not going to switch the camera off now, just in case more rats appear, which they will, because there's tons of them down here. And as more see and all, everyone has fears in life. I've got two fears. One is flying on a plane, and the other is spiders. I don't mind about anything else. You can throw me down any hole you want. You can put me anywhere, but I just don't like spiders. Everyone has these fears, guys. And uh, at the moment, we're absolutely swamped with spiders down here, so I, I'm really braving it down here. Now, we think this leads to the hidden uh, train station that's underground. They've built a new train station on top of the existing train station, which is only one platform at a time. Does it lead anywhere? Living down there. As you can see here as well, this bridge here, people used to once be able to walk over it and then they built a sea on top. Oh, 
Well, I wonder what that is. So we've been walking for quite a while now. We're actually seeing daylight now. Coming to the end of one of the tunnels. Oh, look, there's loads of fish in here. Wow, there's loads of them in there. There's some pretty big fish. Oh. Just another day in the office, Bucky. Look at these, this is an old Victorian shoot. Could have been coal shoot or anything. I think it might have been coal. And we've got a cattle shoot further down there. Uh, sorry, a carcass shoot where they dump the dead bodies of animals from like the butchers and stuff down that down that shaft and it'd go into barges down here. Alright, let's go and catch up to Bucky. Gotta admit guys, we're not enjoying this explore that much because of the spider situation. Sounds ridiculous, I know, but we all got fears. Again, if you remember my underground Manchester Secret City video, you can see where they've been building arches on top of arches. And as you can see here, they built a roof arches over an existing arch that ran over there. It just goes to show they just build upon all the old buildings. So guys, we've just been taking some pictures of this bridge. Did the thumbnail did some instagram shots check out the instagram instagram.com slash exploring with fighters check out the facebook exploring with fighters yt channel i guess check out Whoa. i just dropped far then bucky see how far i dropped down check out twitter which is at fighter official i think it is and as always guys, if you haven't already subscribed, consider subscribing. We're doing things that people don't want to do. I will do it, as long as there's not too many spiders. And hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Only if you've enjoyed this video, obviously, because if you haven't, let me know in the comments below why you didn't enjoy it. And I'll see if I can change things. And this is what it would have been like on more streets at one point. Cobbles like this, maybe not so big but still cobbles and they still exist down here. Like I said, this has all just been built upon. And here, you see the daylight. I've been under it for about an hour and a half. It's great to smell fresh air though, I'll tell you that. And obviously, we've got to do these brand deals because we need the channel to keep going. So if I do the brand deals, which is relevant to the channel, I hope you don't mind. So one thing I'll definitely say about these torches that we've used today, not this one, the head torch and the big one, the batteries. Normally we change the batteries all the time. These batteries are really good. So uh, yeah, got a thumbs up for me for now. I'll continue using them. I'll continue letting everyone know because I don't want my subscribers to buy products that aren't gonna be good. I'm not gonna suggest you go and buy crap products. And you know, guess what? As we're walking along, we stopped to where we stopped first. We found the little torch that I got from All Light. This is the smallest one they sent me, so let's quickly check it. Um, but yeah, it's a keyring size. It's a tiny little thing. Look at that. Tiny, tiny thing. And it's got an integrated battery, so you just stick a charger on and charge it up. I'm checking against this wall, because obviously it's not going to go all the way down. So basically, I twist it, uh, twist it to my right and it'll go onto dim mode and then that's the right set wow actually you know what that's bright as hell look at that for a tiny torch amazing yeah good little product couldn't do a full review on it but i'll use it next time maybe i don't know if that's the fact i watched ghostbusters yesterday but 
kind of feels like Ghostbusters 2 when they're underground. There's a river of slime, obviously. There's no river of slime, but I'm getting that Ghostbuster vibe down here. So I climbed up first, and now Bucky is going to attempt it. It's not the easiest with how slippy it is. And Bucky didn't bring some blood, so we're sharing. That's how it's done, Bucky. You make it look easy. You meant to make it look hard, Bucky. He <laughs> <laughs> does. And what's amazing is you can go from history like that, dating back to 1650, and you can just bring the camera, pan the camera around like that, and see that. It's, it's an amazing contrast between the two. Many of these bags down there, and I think what they were used for, they were used to grow cannabis. Because uh, one of the bags down there had loads of old cannabis leaves in it. But there's a number of them all the way down the canal. Oh. This way, sir. So it's been sprayed with all sorts of stuff like that. Yep. Someone's been growing. So now Bucky has to decide how we're going to climb this wall as he stands in his natural habitat. He wonders. Bag heavy today. His bag is heavy. He will blame his fall on the bag. Either that or Carl's waders, which he didn't ask permission to use. Sorry, Carl. I'm saying sorry for Bucky to Carl. <laughs> so we survived it we got out next time we have to find more manchester stuff so yeah we did it we finally did it i've been dreading that one walking through that water we've been waiting for summer because the winter it was just so high it, it took us right downstream it, it took us right down and then uh, swept us under so uh yeah on to the next underground manchester search continues if you've got any information drop me a message below or drop me a message on Instagram, it's probably better. I'll respond to you. The United Manchester, we can even hook up and even come with us. Yeah, tell us what you see. You see the old cobble street is showing. Oh, oh, Getting boys quick. Yeah, this is it. So I wanted to throw this episode together to show you just how hard it is finding these underground locations, especially in Manchester. I thought that I'd done all of them. Turns out I've probably only done about 10%. So here we are, endless nights, lifting manhole covers, only getting home at like 7, 8 o'clock in the morning when it starts going light. I wanted to throw this episode together to show you just how hard it really is. Plus, we did manage to find the remains of the Manchester underground market sealed away for nearly 40 years. But isn't it directly above the station? Technically, yeah, but there will be many things. Hey, there's two it. grids here. Yeah. But they're too big. Right. And what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Being Ninja Turtles, obviously. <laughs> Making a lot of noise is what we're doing. <laughs> Making more noise than I can. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
I'm pretty sure that's just sewage. No, we were losing money at the train station, have you seen the video? We were losing money at the train station, and then we came up for yeah. an abandoned set of stairs into the working train I station. I saw that, and then you called them in and... I mean... Shit fight! If we was... If we was... Yeah. Shit fight, sir. I reckon these ones, Danny. Yeah, you grab that one. Watch your keys don't slip out. Oh, Need to pick him up as a grid out of this thing at the moment. Whoa, uh, pull it more. I can't see anything yet. You ready? Pull it more, slightly more. <sighs> that looks like a rain pipe. It's got a big sensor there. It's got a sensor in there, yeah. Yeah, that, that's an underground passage. That's one of them. What is it? I reckon, yeah. It's got a big massive. It's got a movement sensor in it, Dan. Where? No, sewage. Get it back over. Sewage. Yeah. yeah. Just, just so you're aware, there's a guy on the phone over there watching. Oh wait, now he's just looking back. As you can see as well. I mean, look at this. We're, we're famous for potholes in the UK, but you can see the old cobble street is showing below the tarmac. But you can see how many times they've tarmacked this. They've actually got a tarmac on on it, and then there's another tarmac, another layer that goes right down to the original cobble foundation street. Lift it, guys. Wait, that's going to be heavy. Watch your finger. Oh shit. Uh, that's a big drop with no ladder. Yo, that's, that's no. That was not an old sewer system, though. That is like 30, 30 40 feet. <laughs> Did you see a tunnel? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's a it's tunnel, like but it looks well, like an old sewer. It looks wet at the bottom. It looks like an old wet. sewer, that. I mean, it's a, it's a potential. <laughs> but the only thing is that, that that ladder looks a little bit dodgy to mount. It looks dodgy. We're also going to have to pry that thing completely off. I'm not asked. I'll go down, me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm Get that pole back and get that beside. Don't turn that light off, they don't need that. Where's the muddy? It's going to be a very quick shot at the moment. Hold that, quick hold that. Yeah, tell us what you see. <laughs> yeah, it's a great concept. Oh, he's down, he's in the tunnel. <laughs> Don't leave to nowhere. Oh, is it not? I'm telling you, sewer that. It might just, no, might just be a flood. Flood Stinks. thing, that. Might no, be. That it'll be flood defence, won't it? And get street floods, it'll Set fill up. Alright, then. Good try, though. Have you got hold of that? Yeah, I got hold of it. It's on a hinge, it shouldn't fall. You got it? Just got one far back down here. Yeah. <laughs> Just strap it. With this one being quite a wide one, you'd expect maybe steps to go down. Maybe. It would be convenient. It would be very convenient. Yeah, that. There's your steps. There we go. Yeah. Get in, boys, quick. This is it. Yeah, this is it. How is the drop? How are we going to get out? Oh, shit. We're going to jump. Who's that? This is it. Be ready. ready to get out. <laughs> Just leave the grid off. Ready again for the camera. Yeah. I've only got little legs. Are we going in? Stand up your camera. Alright, they found a 
way in. Danny, grab this bag, bro. Danny. Getting out. What? One set, one set, mate. What? Stand on my back. Is that Dibble? No, it's a black, big black. SUV. Everyone just get down, man. Yeah, come on. Let's Once we're down, we're down, let's get this building. Can you go anywhere down there? Sorry, bro. Can you guys? I can fucking hide. It's being weird. Now it's the Yeah. Can you get any way down there? Yeah, um, man. Yo, grab my backpack. Oh, you Whitman. <laughs> you have to get camera. You have to give me your hand. Anywhere, Danny. Oh, you wait, Dan. Dan, don't come down. No, stay up there. Like a it Let me see. No way we'd fit in there. Wow, oh, that's definitely it because of our metal structure. Yo, bro, that's it, innit? Yeah, but the bricking did the process of bricking that up. It's already been bricked up, bro. That's a concrete slab they've put in that. Wow. wow. He's not going to get in. He's all these stairs, and then the rest is breaking it all. Yeah, camera. It's all breaking. Yeah. Did you film it? Alright, let's start here. Thanks. I'll grab. I'll grab your bag, Danny. Danny, grab your little bag. I'll that one. Right, wait a minute. I think I can get out of here anyway. Grab my arm, I'll pull you out. That car's gone now, anyway. So what was it? Was it bricked up then? Just see. Video of it. Do that, man. Just gonna try and pull this bit up. Must be a way we can pull that. Yeah, it's still locked in at the side. So if someone pulls it through the crowbar. Was it tight, that? Bend the crowbar, that you know. Um, literally bend the crowbar. <laughs> Try this one, Danny. You'll be you'll be fucking good. This one. Yeah, it's fucking good. This one. Yeah, it's fucking cemented there. Yeah, it's suspect. Bit of strength on there. Might need to get a bolt in it. Not budging that. Not slow down. Where are you going? Kind of. <laughs> what did you say? He's <laughs> doing a porno. Nah, but we can turn it into one. <laughs> I've got that on camera though, bro. <laughs> Oh, hey, listen, that's a good start of video, <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's gonna get it all. Oh, she face planted the floor then, didn't she? Should we watch it back? Yeah, do you want to watch it back? Yeah, watch on me. It's in my bag. No, it's just fucking Yeah, you just gonna have to lift it up. Oh, no yeah, put the adapter on that one, I'll just lift that one up. <laughs> Hold that one. It's gonna be one of them hook style ones. Yeah, twist it in and pull it up. Better off, put the middle one up. The roll up, didn't you? you? Have you got it? Yeah, I'm gonna get it out and set them up. I know, but this specifically says I'm gonna get it. Yeah, but so did the Manchester one. <laughs> Oh, it's a shit pipe. Shit pipe, that's oh, yeah. shit pipe though. 
Oh, come and check this one. Oh, it's unlocked it, you have to pick this one up. Drop him back in. What's up guys, so we are back, it's underground time, we are going underground Manchester, these are the Stockport area tunnels, these were built in the war to, to house many people, there's still bunk beds down here, still a lot of stuff down here, not many people have seen this place, this is a separate side to Dodge Hill, there were three separate area shelters built, one of them now is still used as a tourist attraction, this one hasn't been in in many years, and we're about to go down through this drain. Go on, get your steely under if you can. Oh, there we go guys. This is a set of ladders also, that's cool. Our descent into the underground Manchester. We're at it again, right? Let's get in there boys. That's actually amazing. Take one step down now. There, there, you're right. You're in. There's rope and everything there, boys, I swear. Yeah. That's one of the coolest entrances I've ever seen. Uh, job, grab, uh... Oh shit, get it here. Yeah. Yeah. These need to be able to stick to these. Yep, get it here. These need to be able to stick to these. Right, go on, jump down, I'll I'm begging it. So just sit on the edge and put your first bits open. It's got a slight descend into darkness, mate, it's beautiful. That's a key out of the shine, yeah. Right, so here we are guys, we are going down even further into the underground. Yep, this is it. Someone's got to do it. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's, it's us. Yeah. <laughs> are you fogging up? I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be fogging up. Right guys, we are going down. No, I'm going down, I am. It's cramped as hell. Pretty much gonna crawl through here. <sighs> Deep into the underground. So guys, before I go any further, I'm gonna get some amazing shots in here. Check out my Instagram. I'm gonna put some epic photos on Instagram. So Instagram.com slash fighters. Uh, Facebook as well, uh, Fighters Official YT. Uh, we've got Twitter, which is uh, Fighter Official, I think it is. I don't even know what my Twitter is. My Snapchat, Caged Dan24, that's C A G E D D A N24. Dan, you seen that there? It's an old from. What is it? Yeah, yeah. Where come from? So guys, I'm the first one down here. And it just seems very, very eerie now. Oh, we've got some old bunk beds. So these, literally, you would sleep in the tunnels. So you can have people walking past, like, while you're sleeping. And they'll just be, you know, traffic coming through here, or people walking through. You could just be sleeping on your little allocated bunk bed. That's some crazy stuff like that. So, as I turn to the left, tunnels go that way as well. I do apologise if the uh, if the it steams up a bit. Oh. Go further down here. We'll check, we'll check this wing out first. Oh, Carl from Dark Arts Paranormal, check him out. He's informed me that Manchester was actually bombed in 1940. So, do you think 1940 people have been rushing to these tunnels 
to seek shelter from incoming bombs. It had been absolutely hectic down here at one point. People panicking. People wondering where their loved ones were. People wondering if the relatives were safe, if they were involved with the blast. This is pure history, guys. This is what I live for. Beds here. This is where I'd probably slept. It's like a little bit of an alcove. And I turn around and no one's there. Uh, I've lost everyone. I've wandered off in my own little world talking about the history. This is what I love. This is brilliant. Here come the cavalry. Can you imagine? Actually, no. The last time you appeared on this channel was Camelot. With it Josh. was Josh, yeah. Can you imagine being down here and the whole dust coming off the roof? And the whole world around you is just rattling. You're sat there scared, hugging whatever scrap of family you've got left that you know. Do you know what I mean? How terrifying must that have been? You're just trying to hold on to any humanity that you've got left. Just down in some tunnels like a rat. Do you know what I mean? It must have been absolutely terrifying for yeah. these people. Absolutely. You just you can't put yourself in their place. No wonder that generation's got. Stuff like that. Other people are moving better back. That's yeah. It's only yeah, it's only sandstone yeah. soft, yeah, they was able to scrape scrap it out quite easy. Yeah, it does scrape out, but it won't because it's a solid block of sandstone, you're all right, cable to it. Someone's trying to fit cable lining down, probably when they were putting in that whole lot of this stuff. When they were putting in the entrance on it. There's, <laughs> there's an old chair sat there. Yeah. So we've got an old seat down here from an old car, it looks like some kind of old... 1950s style car. Yeah, probably 50s actually. Yeah. Nice look at these, we've got some actual bunk beds that are still pretty much intact. You could literally put a mattress on these and sleep away. These are, these are pretty cool. I mean look, you've got the natural decay here, it's all side to side. But they, as Charles demonstrates, That's not what <laughs> you can safely sleep on these. Do you know what? A blood of sandstone behind your head doesn't doesn't uh, make for the worst pillow, you know. An old fire or something. Yeah, it's like people have been down here and been having fires and whatnot. Wow, check this out, guys. Look at the state. Old lamp. Is this an old lamp, Charles? It is from yeah. From oil. Is this oil from the lamp as well? Uh, it will be. There will have been original glass in it, but that's that's, what, that's crazy as hell. What's that bottle? Though? I'm not 100% sure. You can see guys, all this conversation, all the, all the water It's auto here. smart. It's fuel for wagons by the look of it. If you just look at this picture there, you can <coughs> just make the cab out of a wagon by my torch. It's where the fun is there. See, the sun's there just behind it. You can see the cab of a wagon and it looks like... Well, is this oil? Is this oil for it though? That would be cool as hell if it is actual oil for a lamp. That's... Uh, looks like it's a bond or something. Know. It's old, very old. That's cool as hell. It's quite old. It's yeah, quite cinematic for that guys. So guys, we've been walking around these for a while now and you just get the, you can kind of feel what everyone was feeling back then, obviously not as intense because we don't have bombs going off above us, but you can feel an atmosphere down here, almost what it'd feel like, it's like a, you could hear everyone's echoes, everyone speaking, they'll be kind of all surrounded, it'd be like an amplifier sort of, what? The, the, the sound in here will trapped, the sound in yeah. the name of the life. Yeah, all the voices. It wouldn't even surprise me if the voices are just kind of imprinted on the walls. Yeah. Mate, so. I've been down there. I walked all the way down. And no joke. It looked like well, I could see the silhouette, right? So I started panicking, so I was like, do you know what? I'm not going to go any further. <laughs> do you know what the funny thing like, You know what the funny thing is? Just talk about you down here. No, do you know what, do you know what the funny thing is? I didn't tell anyone else before. When you two walked ahead of me, I turned around with the camera because I swear to God, I could, I, I heard someone behind me. I turned around with the camera and I was like, that's weird. I'm sure I can hear someone. When I walked this corner, I thought it was like a rat or something in that corner. And I, I looked towards. Just I mean, for all we know, this place could be seriously haunted. We just don't know. Um, yeah, I remember just like... Yeah, they must have gone up down here. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You're not telling me that people were brought down here and passed oh, down here. Yeah, we were just saying before, imagine being in here 
No, no one's saying a word. It's silent, and all the dust is coming off the roof. Oh, you can hear that. Yeah. All you can hear is people. <laughs> you know, the bombs go off above you. Must have been terrifying down here. Yet this was the safest place. So guys, it's getting a bit creepy down here, but I'm going to continue. Um, I'm going to take the lead. I think I'm going to go. I'm going to take the lead. Let's let's go and take the lead, guys. Let's go on an adventure. Just dead, dead in that way, obviously. Yeah, yeah just, just have a look at It's actually yeah. just, just right. Yeah, yeah. Have, have a look at that, and then and then stick with us, and we'll all go together. Yeah. You, uh, you know, obviously horror films, they always die in this world. There's always one. <laughs> Charles is always the Charles will be the first one to die. <laughs> Wait for the Wait for Carl. What the hell was that right down here? What? Well, me and him just turned down because there was this big fog right down here. Yeah, I heard the fog. So weird. Have you got some of them? No. Massive, massive flood right down in Dagen, I mean. I thought behind me. Really? Right behind me. I was looking behind and both, Dan turns around and both me and Dagen staring at the same spot. This place is fleeting. Mate. I'm going to sweat it out. Honestly, you're right, you've got to turn like a... Me and all three of us are working now, and I swear to God, it's like a... Not right, that loud. Don't bang too loud. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to collapse. No, nothing like that. It was just a, like a thud, like someone had dropped something behind me. Yeah. I've walked, there's nothing here. I thought it was you dropping something around there. Oh, the sound was dull. Yeah, man. Big of a big box. No, you're not going to collapse down here, mate. You're built to take bombs, direct hit from bombs. 70 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't know when the war was over, mate. It was built properly. So, I'm venturing off down into more of these tunnels. This is where Carl came from, where he said he saw a silhouette. We're not here for a paranormal investigation or anything like that. This is strictly. History, <laughs> pure history. There's a tunnel down there, there's a tunnel to, tunnel to the left of me as well. So which do we take guys? I reckon we go right because I reckon that's going to be a dead end. So we'll go right just to cover it. So I thought this was going to be a dead end, but this is, I can't even see the bottom of that tunnel. All these bump heads have been knocked well, over. Yeah, I was saying that, like people have been allocated a bed, they'd have been asleep, and people have just been walking past all the time. Do you reckon? Absolutely. What, beds allocated? No, just, just five nights of bed asleep on. Yeah, that's it, you're glad you're never allocated, just you get on a corner and get it. But then if people are asleep like that, just shoulder to shoulder crowd yeah. it. Just think, Many we didn't even know if it was day, day, day or night. No. That was the other thing, yeah. White hasn't here. seen these walls. Yeah. White hasn't here. seen these walls. In yeah. White hasn't here. seen these walls. In and White here. hasn't seen these walls in over 70 years. Yeah. Now, if that doesn't blow your mind, I don't We've know what We've never seen the light of day. Yeah, well, we'll never have seen the light of day. Where's Carl? Uh, it's just, he was doing a cinematic in New York. Carl's going to get eaten by some monster. I know, yeah. Some of the stuff isn't real. You're going to get eaten. That looks creepy. You can't see him, you can just see the glowing lights. Yeah, that's why, I was, that's why I got a cinematic of him walking on that thing before. It looked really cool. So I think these, I think these tunnels were, were built to hold about 3,000 people. I think 3,000 people down here. Oh, we've got more old artifacts down here. We've got more of the old lamps. Not too sure what that is. If anyone knows, guys, let us know. It was one of the pull ring caps. Now they was made from 1972 up until 1985, I think it was, from what someone said on my channel. So that's going to be quite old as well. Well, if you look at, if you look down there from this angle, does that not look like a person's arm? Yeah, it does a bit, yeah. Does like a person's arm at the bottom of the skirt. <laughs> Some 1950s hookers down there. Yeah. Pin up style. There's a pull ring, pull ring beer can over here. Is there? Yeah. Wow. Along with some other lamps and stuff. One in good condition. Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Special break bottle cap. Check that out down there. Yeah. We're building a reservoir, and they started it for a walk, couldn't finish it, and we were in the repairs. 
So I think this is actually leading to the toilets, the toilet area. <laughs> is it actual? It is an actual leg. I knew it was. What the hell? I knew it'd be an actual thing. <laughs> <laughs> What's that from? <laughs> what? I actually guy. thought there was a guy stood there in the corner. <laughs> what the hell? That looks 80s or that. Yo, I might just, uh, <laughs> I might just pick it up and run down to Walter Charles. Do it, do it. <laughs> oi, oi. I think someone's down here. What? I think someone's down here. Is someone down here? I think so. Hurry up. Seriously? Yeah, no, seriously. Because trust me, I thought I saw a silhouette. Just, just. What the hell? <laughs> 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 you alright? I'm like, damn, turn around! Damn, turn around! There's a man with a machine gun! I, me, and, me and him were walking up, we were stood at the bottom there, anyway. Swerve, because he looks like a silhouette of a leg, right? Oh, and then no. I was walking up, and then I saw, I saw some black guy stood there with a face blaster. That's phenomenal. Even the way I was, honestly, I was like, oh, tell him to the rules. I was going to give it, yeah. Like, even a yeah, where, where, that's a mannequin's that's head. Is that not a mannequin's head? <laughs> that's definitely not what I've seen before. No, that's not what I've seen before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See the state of this. Um, there's a mannequin's <laughs> head. There's a mannequin's head here as well. Oh, for now. This gets quite interesting. What, what do you think these are sticking out of the floor? Well, let me see. There's like loads of stumps in the floor. There used to be a wall there. Do you think this toilets is, this was, this is a stud toilets. base for a brick wall, mate? This yeah. is toilets, yeah. It's cubicle stub over yeah. a brick base. It's, it's, cool. cool. it's, it's still the porcelain. No, I'm trying to look at this. There's a polystyrene head on the floor. With <laughs> <laughs> uh, its eyes poked out. Yeah, and they've That's been yeah. coloured in black. Right, so these used to be the old toilets. As you can see here, most of the cubicles, every cubicle, should I say, is gone. Remaining porcelain on the floor from the old toilets. But I'm sure there's some that's still intact. Yeah, that's been that's been put out on me. Not this one. Oh, it's different. Two rooms in one. Oh, that's. Me, this one's been here for two days. Straight back. This next day, the next day, the next day. Four rooms recording. Guys, there's even more tunnels. It splits off to even more. Yeah, these are well bigger than Dodge Hill, these. See, they're quite the size. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, I just, shit. I just scared the hell out oh, of myself. Oh, that's horrible. Where Holy oh. shit. Oh, that just scared the hell out of me, guys. Oh, I'm not even joking, you. Terrifying. My heart, my heart jumped into my throat. <laughs> and I, and I couldn't even shout it's because it. Mind. There's not a lot of arrows around here, and that's quite a different direction. The world cold, so just We're all right because the trailers are centered. Yeah. So we know we're in the center now. I don't right. know. This is getting weird. This is getting weird as hell, guys. This is getting really weird. Who brings a mannequin down here? That's what I mean. What kind of fiend? Ooh. What? What the shit was that? What? That's do you know the sound a tennis ball makes? Yeah. It's the second time I've heard that, and I've just, like a ding dong. So I've been down here for about an hour now. And, uh, and they, I tell them to stop talking, but they don't. Yeah, it's creepy down here. Like, we've heard quite a few noises already. We're not here for any kind of par paranormal reasons. We're literally here to document the place, explore it, because I've never been in these tunnels. I've been in Dodge Hill. Uh, I've been in many other underground parts of Manchester. This is one place I haven't. So far, we found all kinds of stuff. I've not located the toilets yet. We found the men's toilets, but we're still looking for the women's toilets, which is still intact, pretty much. Uh, we found mannequins. We found uh, remnants of oil lamps, bunk beds. You know, there's, there's an abundance of things on the floor. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to fully circulate the place and then I'm going to go around again. I'm going to take photos, but I'm going to also add in some cinematic clips of other things that I find on the floor because I'm going to pay more attention to what's on the floor. So, um, yeah, you'll probably see it's going to be a long video, this guy's maybe 35 minutes.
probably one of my longest to be honest because it's a massive place. It's good, that was good. So we've had five minutes of either. And now we're going to venture off into the rest of the place. Nice day like that, I'll probably shine down here. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks really cool. Right, so this bit's... Oh, is it a dead end? It's not a dead end. It goes back that way. Look at this. Really old, really old oil or fuel drum, that. It could have been an old 20 litre diesel drum. It could have been for oil. Where? And that's, that goes down there. Guys, I hope you are um, trying to remember which way <laughs> I came from. <laughs> I, I, you will get lost, Carl. The um, uh, the toilets and stuff like that, I've literally thought I'd seen like a silhouette move across. Yeah. So, I don't know. My boy Carl from Dark <laughs> Normal. I'm a bit skeptical about it, but you know, you never know, you never know. Like I was explaining before on camera, who's to say, you know. That there isn't ghosts roaming around in there. You don't know. I you don't know. You just don't know. <laughs> Head over and check out Carl. Go and subscribe to his channel. We're trying to get Carl to 10k, 10,000 subscribers in the next like month. Don't let it confuse with Smell fags down there. Yeah, can you smell that? Yeah. I smell fags. Yeah, that sounds like Lucky these? Yeah, I've gone now. Smells a bit. It's probably bizarre that, wasn't it? It's probably like old, yeah. old smoke, wasn't it? That? It kind of smells like ashtray, oh. like, and cigars. Yeah, yeah. Drop on this. Light up living people have got players like, you can't have one players down here. You can smell like... Smoke. Cigarette smoke. smoke. Like smoke. Oh. Yeah, that's weird. It's weird to what I've got. Yeah, right. Smoke. right. Oh. We'll go going right is taking us back to the other end that we've not been down and then we'll come down back down on the left hand side which will bring us to the main entrance hopefully. I trust my underground navigation skills. <laughs> I've spent enough time on the ground. <laughs> yeah no, I keep the bearings because I said that doesn't that doesn't film in front of it. Welcome to the worst of the rain sticks outside, don't we? Oh my god, it's crazy. We have a can of coke from last Thursday. It's so cool. Hey! That's what I'd like to gas to it. It doesn't smell down here. Yeah, it's just out there. Yeah. Look at that, there's an old bicycle wheel on there. It's got like a, it's got like a really weird feeling to it. Yeah, no. Nothing as bad as what we went through on the Berlin Tunnel. Oh yeah. Yeah, mate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. 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 Right, one sec. We're just gonna quickly look down here, and then we'll come back up. Yeah. And these are a lot better condition. Yeah. 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 It's getting more wet down there. Yeah, it is. Yeah? Right, okay. Call sign and stuff.
So guys, we are still venturing. We've been walking for some time now. Um, we're getting kind of worried that we might not know the way out. But don't worry, we always find our way out of these situations. It's what it's all about, being an explorer, delving into the unknown. Look at that, there's an old wheel trim there from a car. Uh, you get two of them, makes all really the grabbers feel it. Time out. Black hole. 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 Black the amount of people that have been stacked up just trying to get a way to survive and try to get a, a nice kip when you've got bombs going off, you know what I mean? That's pretty crazy, that, isn't it? Yeah. So I wonder who the person is who, who's laying, who laid in this spot where I'm lying right now. Multiple. That's Did it took turns? Mad, isn't it? Stepping back in history right now, guys. So guys, the gimbal has uh, died, so I'm hand-holding now. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a big difference from using the gimbal to then going to handheld. But I'll try and hold it as steadily as steady as possible. Yeah. I'm trying to get out of this area pretty fast just because there's a lot of black mould in the ceilings. It's a strange smell of gas. We've not been down that way, have we? Yeah. Oh no, yeah, we have. Turns our bike here is a bike tank. Can we go for Josh? I'll go for one. No, I think. I don't remember seeing that. That is, that is that. Wow, that is the fuel tank off an old bike. Mm. Old bike. Let's go. I don't know. I didn't notice. There's no branch in there. Yeah. There's loads of like old artifacts here. What's that? What's that? The reason you can smell gas? What? There's gas bottle down here. Nah, it won't be that. Yeah, someone will let it off. Yeah, it won't move. Gas won't leak out of here, mate. It's, 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 it won't be gas, gas. You don't have to worry about it. It's tiny. Right, let's go. Wipes. You know what I mean? So, guys, we're at the entrance to go out, but we're literally coming here for a quick breather. We're going to go back and take some photos, but we took a, we took like a group photo inside <laughs> on Carl's phone and checked this. Let's just see if you can see this. See if you can see what's going on this floor. Right, here's, here's us. Those four, you can clearly see us as day. Right, so I'm moving to the left. Well, let me let me focus in on that. Yeah, you can see it clear as day there. Wow, can you see, can you see wow. that, guys? That's even worse than your whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 See back out. You can see it right, clear as day. It's got lips chin the lot. Right, go on, zoom into that. Look at the state of that on Dan's camera when he's picking up on the on the low light. That's horrendous. That's his no, non, tape. No, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Naked selfies. <laughs> no, that was a video for me for. <laughs> right, on it. Let me try. There, 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 you go, there you go. Give it a Belgian reach around. You can actually see how like the, the well, guys got like, certain angle. That 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 on your camera is uh, absolutely stuff. frightening. And you know there was only four of us. And now, we know there's only four of us. The entire video was shown four of us. So, so never been a moment guys, fun. we're going to head back into the tunnels now to take some photos and, and get some more cinematics. But I'm a bit, little bit worrying after seeing that. Yeah, I'm kind of like, you know, do I send all these guys in first? Yeah. <laughs> Let's put your hands on those bars, mate. Yeah? Do you want to go camera help or not? Alright, let's seal that baby back up. 
until next time when we do a Halloween special down there. Yeah, you heard it. Halloween special, I think that's what's going down. Do you want to on? No, let him do it on his own, he's fine, Charles. <laughs> so guys, that's it. We are out. The back of the car is safe. It went brilliantly. Uh, this Explore went perfect. I couldn't have asked for a better Explore. Uh, apart from the creepy stuff, I wasn't really anticipating that and I didn't really want that, to be honest. That's October for me. Carl loved it. Carl was laughing away. He absolutely loved it, didn't you, Carl? I love it. That, that's, that's my line of work right there. <laughs> he, he was so chuffed he got that face. Like that and it's really sort of made me take a step back, that picture. Definitely, man. You don't know what's around you. I know you don't. That's the thing. But yeah, the underground series continues and I'm hitting it hard. I'm going at more underground stuff. Uh, and obviously with Steve Ronan coming down in about two weeks time, we're going to be down in Wiltshire. We're going to be down in Caution. We're going to be down in the MOD tunnels. Burlington series is coming back. I know a lot of people have been very impatient about it, but I've not been... I can't travel down 250 miles um, on my own. So road trip and as i said at the beginning as well check out my facebook check out my instagram check out my snapchat check out twitter check it all out come on over and follow me i'm going to put some amazing photos on we, we took like half an hour taking photos awesome. any last words carl um that was amazing um i'm really shocked with the picture that it's rare to come by those those pictures man but tell me about it amazing explore really impressed tonight yeah i'm, I'm glad as well right until next time guys Ooh. We are Manchester. That means one thing, underground Manchester. No one's even ready for this, right? I'm gonna ask one thing to share this video. This video has to go viral. No one, I mean, no one's been in here. Literally no one at all. There's not a video on YouTube of the place I'm about to go into. Now, right now I'm stood outside Victoria train station in Manchester. We are going to the hidden secret train station underneath. But not only that, no, not only that. There's, there's a hidden secret club under there as well and there's other tunnels branching off throughout Manchester. People aren't even going to be ready for this. I'm with my boy Carl, yeah. Carl from Dark Horse Paranormal, Wheatman, High Times Exploring, High times and exploring. obviously there's Bucky. Exploring with Bucky everyone. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> oh, you know, I, was looking, I was looking at some videos, in fact it's going to pop up here now. Uh, yeah, exploring with Bucky, subscribe please. And the first time you ever, ever came on camera you was like, Hey, uh, explore me, Buffy, subscribe, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a class, absolute classic. Absolute classic. Look at this. Yeah. It's even further from the ground. 
do the old archers there. Guys, we are exploring full time. So right now we are in the underground secret train station right under Manchester, underneath your feet. If you're living in Manchester, this is what's below your feet. I've been exposing the underground Manchester now for about a year. I've been the first in the underground, underground secret gentlemen's club, underground Victoria Arches, and now first exclusive YouTube video underground train station. But this is not all, this leads everywhere. There's tunnels everywhere. And we might even spend all night down here exploring so smash that like button if you haven't already consider subscribing to catch more underground stuff and definitely share this video on facebook when you share it on facebook tag my facebook page explore fighters yt channel and i will reply to your comment You lot go through first. So look at all this arch here. But you want to know something even crazier? I'm kind of excited if you can't already tell. But right now we are going through that 1600s cattle bridge featured here. Now that is pure history right there, guys. We do not see stuff like this anymore. You remember that episode where it was under, underneath? Well, right now we're walking through it. I'm gonna show you. So this is that gap we were actually looking for. I said there's light. So as you can see there, guys, there's a light coming from inside that bridge. Look at this there. Can you believe that? We're, we're here. Look, we was, we was down there. We was actually down there walking through all that shit. I mean, it smells terrible. I can't believe it was actually down there, but we was down there at one point. That is crazy. I'm going to close that up. You're going to believe this. What? Do you know this bridge that yeah. we walked on it? Do you know how close it is to this? Places with lights on. Oh, it's a dead end, unfortunately. It's another. That is another time, guys. That's going to be another explorer. I wonder if you can get over the top of that. Looks like people pulled them bricks out. You can, you can hear a train. No 
idea where this leads to. More tunnels. This goes right under the train station. Yes. Yeah. Lots of furnaces and stuff. stalls at one point. Old traffic lights. They're the old train ones. Hey wait a minute, there's that, under here is the old that old train that crashed. It is some the front of it. What are you thinking boys? How are you finding this? It's mad this isn't it? This yeah. is crazy. I've been yeah. wanting to get into this for so long. It's been a long time coming bro. I'm so happy I finally managed to get under here for you guys. We've not even scratched the surface of this place yet, but I just feel so happy. This is the main one. This is the door. Let's go down. Let's go down. I think we might even be going to the old platforms. challenge it's blocked to the normal train station basically we've just discovered a massive breach in security over the fix it 
storage of water. Literally, then doors that are taking onto the platforms of the train station. And now we're continuing underneath Manchester. You know, as my job as an explorer, I have a lot of the time. You don't touch nothing, you don't say nothing, and that's pretty much what we do. But in situations like this, where we've just discovered a massive security breach, imagine. Imagine this, imagine there was a terrorist and they managed to get in here. They are underneath one of the most important rail routes in the north, Manchester Victoria Station. So it would be irresponsible for me not to notify people that there is a possible security breach down here. Maybe I should be employed by them. So heading back to the tunnels, there's more tunnels that we didn't even see. I wonder what this was, this like, it could be in this, like a little shop. Oh, it's bricked up there. So it's illegal to hear. I wonder why there was, I wonder why there was a little window there and stuff. This is all the old equipment, this isn't even used anymore. Pick that phone up. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Imagine turning all this on. See, it takes you down to more bits here. Oh, no, it's here. Oh. Why is the ladders here? That takes you to the top side, that. Yeah, well, I think we should carry on. Yeah, let's go. Ready, Carl? happened to the bridge we actually transformed it into utility bridge I'm walking through a bridge constructed in the 1600s and then obviously they just left the outer shell and they've concreted and, and reinforced everything but we'll take another look there you go Smell. I'll tell you what, Bucky, I don't miss that smell. We, we was walking through that, Bucky. We was actually walking through that. What what, what in what in hell's name were we thinking? We nearly got in. We did, nearly got in. So it's all about, it's all about the adventure, guys. So one thing we've got to really look out for at these places is marks on the bricks and stuff like that. We need to find names of places. We need to find what was down here. I mean, this brick here was constructed after the bridge, obviously. Victorian um, built these. The wood here, this is, I can't see this being original. But as you can see there, there's something on there. Some, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask all my subscribers. Right, so if anyone has any information on this, have seen this before, I don't know what it is. It's, it's some kind of, must have been some kind of brand down here at one point. There must have been some kind of merchant down here. But I can't make it out because of the bridge. And that is interesting as hell. You've got still graphics on there. What did 
she had done another level there. That's interesting. Very interesting. We had the ladders. Well, oh. at least there's some ladders. stuff and especially Manchester especially Manchester is this city they built upon they built upon city after city after city so down here we've, we've got arches upon arches upon arches you don't know where it starts and where it ends but one thing is we're gonna find where it begins this is weird it's like a little classroom how strange is that Furnace door. At least we can get out that way. That's a good point. We must just said that it was. to another tunnel. We blocked it off for a reason though. Not just for the old stores. And then left. So we can that way. It's a very tunnel to look at you. What's down there, Bucky? Another room. That'll take us into the other room we was in, won't it? No, because that's that way. Then vents go up. Right, so now we're at 
to the top of these stairs. We don't know where they go. These ancient stairs. I mean, look at these. Let's just go and see where they go. Wide. Watch out this window. Just stay down. This is train station. This is game man. Even I chance to put my shoes in. What's that normal for it? No, I do. It's already open, slightly. I don't know. But it goes down as well. Right, open it, go, 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 I hear like a door. Push the bar. I don't know, it will go off the You can only say alarm, don't it? Get your lights on. 
turn the lights off. We're at the Emmy inside. He shut it loud enough. He didn't ask shut it then. Thanks to you, Carl. <laughs> what? What the hell? That's not the way to do it at all. <laughs> See these look like tombs here. This look No it is! No! No! There's a tombstone! It says there died! Jesus! Oh steps! Look at that! Oh my god, this is uh, definitely something I wouldn't normally do. Why do we keep starting our adventures and videos like this. Why do we keep talking about diets and like ordering pieces? Can I have a slice of pizza, Dan? Put it yeah, you can have a slice. Since you're filming, if you say no, people are going to think you're a dickhead. So. No, I can just say no. You're not having any of my pizza. Dan doesn't share food. Don't. I hope you wash your hands. Anyway, where are we going tonight? We don't even know. We're just going to try and find somewhere. Yeah, we could end up there, wherever that is. Oh, that looks pretty good. You never know.
was his name, do you know? Yeah, I didn't catch his name, but he was, he was a sound guy. He won, he won that first up. Right, yeah. here we go. This is a... Uh, we're pissed, Bill. Where we're, are we parking then? We're coming up to the graveyard. I think we can pull into it, can't we? Let's find out. We'll drive around and see. I've got an issue, bro. <laughs> I won't survive the apocalypse. Look. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, that's not the way to do it. That's not the way to do it at all. Bro. Yeah, I call. I think I'm almost ready. Oh, I've got stones in mine. Yeah, you got to make sure there's no one in them and team out. Oh, that's bigger than that, I know. Got everything out of the car, boys, yeah? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm ready. I'm going to give you some super spooky information when we get in here. It's historical information as well, but I'll tell you what, it's very, very unusual. Once we get inside the uh, inside the grounds of the, the cemetery, I'm going to tell you some information that's, uh, is, yeah, it's, it's historic information and it's super creepy and it's something that you guys are probably going to think, holy crap. Um, it's, yeah. It was quite a strange time back in 1872. Yeah, there we go, there's a sign, Phillips Park Cemetery. Right, we're inside the graveyard. We've got quite a long walk. I shouldn't say graveyard, it's not a graveyard, it's a cemetery. It's massive. So uh, we've got a bit of a walk um, yet till we get to the entrance to the underground. So the only problem we filming with Andrew is our fascination with freshly dug graves. <laughs> I mean, one day we're all gonna end up there. It's inevitable. That one. Well we are. But that's why we've got to make the most of this life. That's why we've got to keep up these adventures. Yeah, that's it, man. Just never stop. Don't let anyone stop us. Just keep going. Haters are gonna hate. Haters are gonna hate, that's it. Bro, it's a natural part of life. Yeah. I can't be offended over taking a little bit of video of a freshly dug grave. I also walked up and said, please excuse my trespasses. I mean, no disrespect. It's not like I stood on top of it like I gotta get a good shot of this. <laughs> <laughs> God, all right, come on. That's enough of that. That's actually kind of why one of the, one of the reasons why I love doing YouTube and why I started doing YouTube. Uh, you know, I've got children, and if something was to happen to me one day, you know, there's hundreds and hundreds of hours uh, of footage to watch through of me on YouTube. So memories, and you know, keep, keep my memory alive, almost. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of reasons why I continue to do this. You know, in this other realm or whatever it may be. And you can't remember. You, you don't you don't you don't know anyone. Oh your family go, your friends go. You could just be like a wandering soul or something. But this is what they say about obviously the dead and We're gonna go down that way I think. I don't know man, it's it's, it's scary. You know it's what I'm more terrified upsetting. about? Everyone else dying before me and I'm left alone on yeah, this yeah. earth with no friends, no family. Really? Yeah. I would Probably. rather I would rather die before my loved ones. Just so that Dude, yeah. you know, I could have spent my whole life with them. If you could choose immortality, would you? Uh, no, no, I'd get bored too quick. Really? I'd see the whole world and be like, what else is there to do? Nah, I'd choose I'm immortality. If we could make videos forever, then I'd well, definitely. This is the reason why I love doing YouTube, is because it is a kind of a form of immortality. Your videos are never going to go. Yeah, Even when YouTube crashes or whatever, your videos are always going to be about somewhere. Yeah, that's it. Memories and, you know, footage or whatever it may be. You know, but would you really want to live forever? Yeah. Forever. Yep. Forever young. Forever young. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just a ruins. I wonder if there's a fire. Oh, yeah, it is. How long it's been abandoned for? I don't know. 
I'll get in. It's just barricaded at the back, but it's just because of all the roofs falling down. But nice church. They definitely should uh, renovate it, though. That's for sure. Look at the gargoyles on the top. You seen them gargoyles? Hey, Carl. Reminds me. Reminds me of that gargoyle mansion we did in, in France. Yeah, yeah. Look, the same gargoyles on the, on the yeah, side. Worn off evil spirits. Also, water spouts as well. Anyway, let's uh, let's get to that underground entrance. Right, see the red the red dot there. Yeah. So that's where we got to go to. So we got to go over that direction because the stream obviously runs under there, and that's I think I, I believe it to be our entrance. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it to be. So we just got it because that's the uh, Medlock River there. So we got to head that direction. Let's do it. There's still graves all over. Look, smashed graves everywhere. So this area here is where it would have ripped all the graves from. But look, you can see all the original graves in the ground. Look at these, the tree. The tree has grown and started pushing the graves out of the way. You seen this? Now that's, that's maybe something that I would like. You guys, yeah. this is probably something I'd actually like to do. I'd like to get buried next to a, a new tree because as the tree grows, you're going to be a part of the tree. Have you seen those new pods that they make? They're all like soil and thing, and when you die, you can be put in the pod and they'll bury you and you grow really? into a tree. Yeah. See, I, I think that would be pretty cool. That's some futuristic stuff right there. Because look at these. Look at them. There's, there's a few of them. Right, I will switch to my um, my other torch in a minute. I'm just using this one for now as we navigate around, but when we get underground, I'll go to my panel light, so it's much clearer. But look, there's little crosses in the floor. These are graves everywhere. And these would have been the graves that got swept away. Right, we've got to go through this wood here. I mean, look at the size, look at the tree roots on this. Look at that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't us. Right, so some of the history of this place. So the reason why I've been waiting to do this one, and I was a little bit reluctant to do it, um, the history here is quite dark. Not as in like mass murders took place here. Many people have died in this river. Uh, this is the river Medlock. Only in 2012, there was a uni student found floating in there. But back in 1872, uh, we had what was called the Great Flood. Now, two days of raining on July 12th and 13th. There was enough rain that fell in those two days that is the equivalent to a normal month in the UK. And as you know, it rains a hell of a lot in the UK. But on the 13th at noon, the river came running down here, super high after coming from the hills. Came rushing down here, brought the banks and dragged 50 or so graves into the water. Now, they only found 50 corpses floating down the Medlock River. Now, people were stood at the side of the river watching these corpses float down the river. Now, they found 50, they said there's more. So there's corpses lost down here. They've probably been swept to sea. I don't know where they've gone. But what I will tell you, and I can guarantee you, we, we will see graves from the 1800s uh, down in this tunnel because it all got swept down there. And they didn't retrieve it all. They just left it to nature to sweep up, apart from the bodies that they found further on down the stream. So yeah, that fateful, uh, fateful day in July, 1872, the bodies were rife in the river. And and if I find the body, obviously it's just going to be a skeleton now. I, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even know. It's just going to be the odd bone here and there. But I can guarantee we will see graves from from 1800s. We should come back with magnet fishing. I mean, yeah. I think that'd be a genius idea, actually. If we came back here later with magnet fishing, try and find like. Uh, rings and things like that that fell into the river. The only problem is is there will be a lot of crap down oh, there yeah. it's, It might take a lot of sifting, but probably eventually we'd find something Maybe bring some nets. I mean leave a comment below. Would you like to see us magnet fishing down here? Drop a like if the on the video if you smash I'm watching right now smash that like button I'm watching ten minutes into this video. I want to see those lights going up right now if you want to see us come back with a big magnet All right, that's good Coming from the cemetery now just coming from the cemetery and this is a walkway down into the river. 
Yeah, yeah follow the red brick road. <laughs> That's the song in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit of a drop, guys. Be careful. It's not good when you got dodgy knees, bro. I think it's that way. That way under the bridge? Yeah. But the thing is, we're going to have to put our NBC suits on. Yeah. Ready because we might as well just wade through the water, boys. Is it? I'm just going to walk on the path all the way up. That's well, it's, I think it gets blocked up over there. Let's walk as far as we can and we'll put the NBC suits on. It's something quite eerie, right? Yeah. By the no sound such before, but... Yeah, it's quiet. I thought it was going to be gushing. Well, we've not had much rain. Yeah, that's it. We that's the old walkway there. No way. This old walkway here reminds me a little bit of the cattle bridge uh, underneath Manchester. We did we did that time a couple of years back. Was it a couple? Of years? It was about a year ago, a year and a half ago. Actually, bro, that was about two years ago. So this is a Soviet Union NBC suit. This is used for mainly radiation, triple layered, uh, lead lined, I believe. Um, so yeah, this is for fallout, it's fireproof, it's waterproof. And me and Steve bought these. Um, we're actually doing a, a video, it's going to be super exciting. It's, um, it's a mine, but it's a uranium mine, so obviously I've had to buy a guide account because there's, there's a lot of radiation down there, and especially when you're walking through the water and you're kicking up rocks, you're exposing the radiation, so we're going to get readings down there. going to be a really good episode, stay tuned for that one. Not filmed it yet, but we're going to be filming it at some point. Forward to slipping on your asses. So I, the good thing about this one is he's a full suit, so even if we do slip on our asses, yeah. we're getting wet. You're never gonna guess. We are called the Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm ready. Is this supposed to? That's your neck. Oh, wait a minute. That's the one for the neck, bro. Where's the leg one? What's this one here? I've not got one of mine. Oh yeah, dude. See you. See you. That might be your leg one then. We've got two here, and one down there. Should I put the other one around your other ankle? So what are them there? What are them things? Bodies? What, that? That's mm -hmm. a bag. Just carry it, isn't it? I don't get it. Just wrap it around your ankle. Just like He's that. He's got no finger on that one. Oh, then it's... Never mind, then. Yeah. I'm going to put that in the bag. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Down on your ass. I know, the shoes are gripping. Like if we're taking a photo with Dan's camera, he doesn't need his camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can't walk down this really though. Do you hold that set bro? So wait, can you see the water? Uh, I am. Oh, yeah. I'm slipping still. Bro, just slip in it. Right, you're waterproof we can't, we can't anyway. Walk, we can't walk down here like That's fine. But he's you're waterproof, Carl. Just get in. No, I can't touch it. I'll fall. <laughs> is it really that bad? Yeah. It's it, honestly it's heavy. <laughs> bro, this is a bad idea. Should we get out, bro? <laughs> Stay where you are. Come into the water. Bro, I'm literally not gripping. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hold on anymore. So what do you want? Do you want me to pull you up? Stand up in the water. <laughs> Carl, come here. Try again. Let's start. Stand up Stand in the water. Stand up in the water. Watch my camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now try again. Slip in on your ass. Yeah, you got to slide in and just act natural. I, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get in and go. Come on, Carl. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Was it that bad? You know it's heavy that one off. We can't walk down there. Bro. We're not, we're gonna stick to the sides. We're just gonna sweep you away that. Stick to what sides? These sides. Why are we in the water then? You wanted a photo, right? Alright, oh, okay. 
Yeah, but can how are you going to take a photo though? It's not going to work. I was going to auto time it, but it's not going to work. It's too heavy. It's right. going to wash the camera away. Well, now you guys are in there. You can come back out. Hold on. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh. oh my god. You jumped out of there like a fish, bro. <laughs> Right, after that slight fail, we are now going to head into the yeah. underground. It definitely gets deeper. Oh no. So wait a minute. So technically if that gets deeper, that means the, the water current's not going to be as powerful. No, it's going to be a lot more steady. You can see it's slower, slower moving here. Yeah, it's kind of uh, getting very deep now, and it's overflowing. Yeah, this is not good. And it's not. There's not even been any rain either. We're gonna have to go through all the water. There's no. There's no two ways about it. <laughs> Welcome to hell, boys. Welcome to hell. I didn't say this was gonna be pretty. You're asking us to walk some of the nasty. Oh, oh, it's very slippy. Yeah, it's covered in algae. I'm just looking all that far, but it's not looking good right now. Wow. When was the last flood? Because this looks like it's wreckage. What the hell? Like, legit, we got to wade through this. What? Yeah, there's no two ways about it. This is what we got to go through. Yeah. Just keep your wits about you. Walk safely. Watch out for drops. Yeah, it's not exactly nice, but. Yeah, be very careful just drops. And don't slip on the algae if it's Yep. Oh, it's going to get deeper than this, though. Yep. This is why we've got suits on, boys. This is clearly such deep water. Oh, it's very slippery. Yeah, be careful. It's just not knowing what's in front of you. A lot of trees and a lot of water. Actually, it looks like it dries up over there. It dries up. Thank God for that. It's just this bit. People's missing soles from their shoes. Yeah, well, underground's never that pretty. Right, it's dry here, but it, it does flood again up there. Downtown. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't smell pretty either. Come on boys, this is what we live for. This is this is underground for you. It's slightly better now. We got dry land again. Now there hasn't been any rain for uh, it must be a week or two. And you can see how much this has flooded, so you can imagine when when the, the great flood happened, easily have gone over that wall. Even some recent floods probably made it quite high up the wall. Right, we're flooding again. This is where it gets tricky. Yep. Um, I think we should cross over. Yeah, because it gets it's a lot more blocked up the up the side. I'm pretty sure of it. Well. Well, I know, but we have we died yet? The majority of my my ideas have been. How would I know? You're like you're like Rick, and we're like Morty's. We've probably died countless times over, and you've just brought us back. Be careful, Danny. Yeah, we should be going right getting in that. No, Look, it's, that's it's shallow. Sludge, you might get stuck in it. Nah, he's not going to get stuck. Shout out my bricks and all sorts of stuff in there. I just don't want him to sink into some slime and then we're all... Right, no. no, he's in. You've got to jump in and save me, yeah? Oh, shoot. Oh, 
It doesn't go any deeper, does it? I think it's flat there. It's checking, but I'm worried about sinkholes. Yeah, it does feel a bit sinky. A little bit, a little bit sinky. Danny, be so careful. Alright, he's halfway across already. How's the water pressure? Is any good? The, bottom, uh, the water pressure's not that bad, bro. No, because it's a lot w wider. The, the, there's not a narrow stream for it to be pressurised down. So it's going to be slow okay. moving. Okay. I'll see, there you go. It's doable, it's needed. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very slippy, but... I t I'm not, let's do it separately so you know because if one person slips you're gonna pull us all down. We put that in your pocket for me. No, it's not too bad because it's all bricks in it. Last thing I want. Oh, you look like Bambi Andrew. I feel like Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I told Carl he looked like a spaceman and I look like Bambi. <laughs> yeah, that's what the whole thing. <laughs> why, why do I seem to be going down lower than Dan everyone looks, else? Dan looks not, super I short. Spot. I know. Why have I gone lower down than everyone else? <laughs> right, this is what I'm going to need. This is not kosher. Whoa. Just take that, bro. What did you step out of? Just, I just threw myself up, bro. Really? One sec, bro. Pass me your camera. Yeah, can one of you guys help us out? Right. We're going in. And remember, we're looking out for gravestones. And that's just a rock. See these could these could be tombstones right here. See these look like tombs here. This look no it is! No! No, there's a tombstone. Let me get in the water. It says there, died. Oh, shit. Right, hold on a second. Let me turn the turn that down. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a chunk of a tombstone. It says died on the top yeah. of the rock. Look at that. See, I told you there was still tombstones down here. That's crazy, man. We found our first tombstone. What does it say on it, Dan? Died. It died. Two. It's it like died in number two. It's a broken tombstone. We, we might be able to find the rest of it down here somewhere. I knew we'd find them. That's insane. Just think that someone's someone's relative's yeah, yeah. tombstone, right? And it's been there since 1872. Remember that? That's insane. Wow, well, that is crazy. Right. Uh, you know what, guys? If you don't mind, I'm going to walk quite slow down here and look for more. Yeah. I think that's another one there. I just need to turn my light up. There's some big stones down here. You just don't know what's what, because the stuff that's submerged, obviously we've 150 years, 160 years worth of water rushing over them, will obviously corrode them, and you'll never be able to see what it says on them. Right, let's just let's keep going. I'm gonna I'm gonna wade through the water. See, look at that. Looks like a that's very straight. It could have been part of one. Where? This is it. 
No, that's just can't cold. see anything on it. It might have been a stone, but it's it looks like it's corroded over time of the water passing over it. We've got to find to we've got to find ones that are high raised out of the water because they're the only ones that will survive. I love this stuff. This reminds me of back in the day when we first started the, the underground explorations. The adventure of just heading into the unknown, going through water. This is what I live for right here. And if you're enjoying stuff like this, hit the like button. Because if I see a ton of likes in this video, like 3,000 likes, I know that you can enjoy it and I'll start doing more of this proper adventuring. A brick wall of some kind. An old spade there. The water's starting to move faster now. Obviously, we're not just looking for um, tombstones. What's that one there? Turn it over, maybe. It might be on the other side. Whoa! It's definitely a tombstone, yeah, but one. it's all corroded off there, unfortunately. I'm sorry if some bits are looking over explored. I'm filming in manual just to get a. We put it back to the way it was. We're filming in manual, so um, just to get the better light. But just think, in that fateful uh, afternoon of July the 13th, down this tunnel came rushing dozens of bodies washed out from the cemetery. Imagine being one of the bystanders, just seeing all these corpses floating downstream. I, I mean, I don't, some of them corpses could have been skeletons, you know. So some of them could have been freshly put there, I don't know. It's looking deeper on that side though. Right, I'm gonna start walking on dry land. It's getting... Um, it gets deep there, it's fast flowing there. Yeah, I think we just stick on here for now until we get further down the tunnel. Well, I'll tell you what, I definitely feel like a Ghostbuster right now walking down here in this suit and this river. Reminds me of the scene where they crawl into the underground New York and find the river of slime. I've mentioned that quite a few times on my videos actually. It's kind of one of my favorite quotes now. Slime! It's a river of slime! Right, the scene was just bowling through with NBC suits. I know, I know. I think we'd give a few people a fright. I don't know exactly what's happened here, but look at this. The wall is filmed with black stuff and it says tar. So I wonder if there was a, a spillage up above at some point, leaked down tar into the oh, underground. It could be genuinely the river slime. Yeah, river slime! <laughs> I don't know, but the, the, the river's picking up a bit. Um, I'm still on the lookout for gravestones. I can't believe we found the first one right at the start and it clearly said died on it. Well, those yellow sticks almost look like the color of human bones. I mean, it does look like the color of a human bone. But they come in like different sizes. There's a plate of the same yellow. There's a big stick of it. And then there's another bit there. There's, there's only one way to find out. Jump in and see what it is. I don't know if it's not a bone. But the water control. I wonder where it's coming from. I know. Just turn that down a bit. Yo. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know if there's been a spillage. Wait a minute. Is is tar a man-made substance or is it a natural formation? Well, the tar, no tar. Well, obviously it's man-made, but I'm, uh, the, the, yeah, but why the tunnel. Would, but why would there be tar dripping from the ceiling? Well, that's what I mean. Is, is, it, is tar man-made or is it a yeah, natural substance? Yeah, tar's like man-made. So maybe there is a spillage, or yeah. but look at that. You can see where they've sprayed, and it's continued coming down because it's it's making it all droopy. Look, oh, is that what? Oh, you just plucked it off. Yeah, it's just. Watch some big ass spiders on the wall. <laughs> 
get it? Where's the people? I don't know. Leave a comment if you know uh, why the tower will be coming through the ceiling. Oh, there's a tunnel there. That's, um, look at that. We're, we're going to have to go through them on the way back. We'll have to check these out on the way back, going through places like these. This is a rat run, a catacomb of tunnels underneath Manchester, uh, obviously harbouring the, uh, the river Medlock. 225, is that how many metres we've walked in? 225. Yeah, I think that's 225 meters we've walked in so far. But hold on, there's some stuff sticking out in the water over there. Oh no, I think it's a log. No? Is that your voice, Danny? No, I heard Someone just went, Did you hear that as well? Yeah. No. It was like a, I heard that. It might be cars above us, maybe. Yeah, it's a car above us. No, no, it's, it's they're going over it above us. That's what it is. Right, let's go, let's take a move on. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely cars. <sighs> See, that's, that's what always cur is curious. What the hell did they brick up there? Yeah. Somebody's peeled up. Oh, no, they didn't go through. Yeah, someone's been trying to. Well, it looks like an old overflow tunnel. Yeah, that's definitely overflow, yeah, because they normally arch like that, the overflow tunnels. Uh, I'm gonna turn. Uh, the water's starting to get raised up here. I'm gonna turn this brightness up a bit. Right there, you go. Be careful you don't slip on this because it's starting to flood again. I wonder where these vents go to. Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's like a little pipe. Oh, that'll go to drainage uh, the yeah, road. So when it's yeah, when it's flooding, it'll be spraying out of there. Yeah, well that's what I'm looking look for. Tombstones, don't forget. We're still on the lookout, and there's something raised there in the middle. It's 300 meters that, I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, earlier, earlier I saw a, uh, a thing called uh, the Why would they have signs saying cyanide down here? No, I think somebody tagged them. Like or something. Come on, they look like a lot of them. It's true. It's weird, man. Yeah, well, I don't want to find out really what it is. Cyanide, to me, is... Uh, no sounds problem. like a, <laughs> a, a thing to definitely stay away from. But it could be someone's name. What the f*** is that? What? <laughs> That's a, a head! Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it! Bro. You shouldn't be grabbing that. Bro, that is the creepiest ass thing I've ever seen underground. Hold on, let me. Let me turn it around a bit. Turn it around a bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let me turn. It's just a mannequin head. Where do you know what's going on down here? Do you know what scares me a little bit more than the, uh, the idea of that floating down here is? Um, there was a blockade at the top, so how's it slipped through that? Don't forget all them twigs we walked through. We would surely would have seen that. Well, I looked. I looked for all that, and I didn't see no. Watch the spiders, bro. Yeah, watch this. I'd let it take its course. Just put it back in the water. Just let it go. Can we just talk about how crazy this is? We're down Where here looking for that? bodies, and there's a freaking head. There's a bloody head down here. That's weird, man. Huh? I, I say. I say, just let it take its course. It was hearing that weird noise. It's true, that. Yeah, I heard some noise. Hello? Bro, what was that? That sounded like something responding to you. Did you hear that? Yeah. That's again, huh? Hello? Who's down here? Midges, I know that. But just put it back in the water, bro. Just let it take its course. It was on, obviously it's on its way somewhere. No, let's think this straight. Shh, shh, shh. I heard a, I heard a hum blow, like someone moaning. Hello? Oh, I'll off the head, bro. We walked past the blockage. We walked past that blockage. 
And now his head just flowing. We would have seen that because we'd just been sifting through the water. So why uh, is there a head in the water now? I don't know, man. I'm not going to ask too many questions about it. I'm just here for the gravestones. Bro, I can't get over the fact that there's a head down here. I'm just, I'm just saying. That is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. I'm not going to be able to get over this. I wish it was looking at us, that would make a better, better shot if it was just looking at us. Set like a head at the beginning of the river when we came in, did you? Yeah, because I just carry heads around with me, bro. You carry heads around every day with us. Danny, sometimes I don't know. But we've all been... Yeah, that's true, that's true. Any, I don't you know with Danny. Swear to me, Danny. That was not you. Bro, I swear down right now, I did not want a head in the water. Oh. Seriously, bro. I swear, swear, swear on the crew. <laughs> why, why swear, swear on the crew, you didn't put it there. I swear down on the crew. Damn. Swear I swear on the crew, I did not put it in the water. No, but legit. I swear on the crew, I did not put that in the water. Right. No, seriously, no, no, no. Right. We would have heard a splash depending on how it's placed, right? So somebody's put it in the water. Well, obviously, you know, we would have seen it. We would have literally been scared of that pretty much like most of the evenings. Like, we would have seen a head in Just watch your bag on that wall, bro. Bro, yeah, shit. Yeah, we would have, we would have seen a head oh. in someone's bag or in the car. The that was a pretty big sized head, mate. The head's gone now. That's weird. But why are we hearing them other sounds as soon as we're replying to us? Dude, let's just... I, I, I don't know, this is weird. I'm surprised we've only seen one, to uh, one tombstone so far. But you can see how high the water gets, so look at that. Uh, look at that, there's a couple of pipes up there. Could be sewage pipes, could be cable runs. And cemented into there. Look at all this coming through. Yeah. That is going to be slippery as hell. Dude, is that moving into it? Don't know how it smells though. Smells awful. Seeing bones now. I want to see where that head's gone. Well, that head is going to be on the other side of England. <laughs> yeah. Someone's going to be sat there enjoying the Sunday Sunday drink in the afternoon at a canal, and it's going to float past. Well, that's what happened to us. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh. Hold on. What's this? Hmm. It might be garbage. It might be. No, it's not. It's got hearts on it. I don't know, it's got hearts on it though. What's on the uh, other side? Hold on. It looks like a... Oh, it's a Barbie... Uh, it's, a it, it's a Barbie plate. It's got the B <laughs> on it. No way. Why is that down here? What the hell? We found the head and now a Barbie plate. A Barbie plate, yeah. <laughs> weird. Some weird stuff. Someone's been having a tea pot down here. <laughs> Definitely some unusual things down here. I, I bet you that goes to a man over there. Yeah, it's not a lot of no steps on the wall, isn't there? No, it's a bend. But look, I'm sh shiny like there. There's not steps on there. Look. Grips you can put your feet on. Yeah, look like the yeah, look. Off. Oh, it's snapped off. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Out there and you need to get over it. No, it's not. I don't know where the nearest exit is. I don't even know where, whereabouts we're under right now, but you can track it right now because I'm tracking it on screen. Whereabouts under Manchester we are right now. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, falling down. You got fucking tracks in up on the grate. Yeah, Josh is under. Yeah, it was that girl. Josh yeah, it was someone Josh knew. Who was it now? I can't remember her name. The kind of girl. Yeah, but she she got swept away. And she died. Uh, yeah, she died. Yeah, she died. Yeah, she yeah, she died. She, she got swept away. And she died. Uh, yeah, she died. Yeah, it's, it's a very dangerous thing. Underground waterways. They were they were in um they were in a, a massive culvert. Wasn't no, it wasn't. It was a storm drain. It was a storm drain. And the problem was, yeah, there was no rain there. 
but in hundreds of miles away, there was a there was a big flood. Yeah, and it's yeah. up and down. Scary, that. Though. Very imagine. scary. Yeah. Can you imagine the speed it coming though, like it's that just literally rushing next minute to going up and up. I mean, that, I mean, even I mean, them they were what we, what you would call almost experts in the field of, of what we do, and even they got caught out. So it's it's a very dangerous thing to do. Rather than sitting here and make yourselves paranoid, then let's just start moving. What's this? Uh, it's a side tunnel. What the hell is this? Whoa, the steps! Look at that! Holy crap, where did they go? Ooh. That is cool as heck. Look on the roof! It's like lime and stuff. Where do you think it goes up to? Uh, there's only one way to find out. Well, you're going to go up the steps. Yep. Right, you can walk down the out of I know, I know. Don't remind me, please. I'm trying to be brave here. Uh, maybe we'll check it out on the way back. <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll do it on the way back. But that looks amazing. Up the. Let me, let me zoom in a second. Look at that up there. That looks cool as hell. I think we're we're underneath a road right now. I just heard a car above us. I mean, who lives in Manchester? Anyone live in Manchester? Put it down in the comments. We could be under your house right now. You don't know. We could be walking through right now. Yeah, that is true. Right, we're coming to a bend. So we've been at this for a while, so I'm going to have to tight bend. But, oh, that side drops off. Oh, oh, it all drops off. off. Alright, boys. Oh, it's outside. Oh, it's, outside. This is the end. it's not the end, though. Bro, we got to find the other entrance to the next tunnel. we got to follow it on a map and then walk Can we walk through this? Oh, oh stuck. It's a manhole cover. It's a manhole cover, yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's got a ladder there. Uh, I think that's pretty deep. Well, I'm telling you, that is uh, the next deep. One million percent. But what we should do is bust out the map, find where the next tunnel starts, and then drive there and get in there. Because I'm not walking through neck deep water. That's swimming. <laughs> that is not I mean, maybe that could be next episode because by the, the time... Boat. The Kraken! Oh man, we should have brought the Kraken. Everybody, if you want to see the Kraken, us on the Kraken, come down this. You let us know now, so we can continue looking for the bodies lost under under here. We've already had some crazy stuff. You know you want to see us on the boat. Maybe with a magnet line. Magnet uh, yeah, fishing. that's what I'm thinking. That's genius. Magnet fishing for Magnet fishing I love it. I love it. Okay, so I think we're going to need a part two here. But look at this. You can see where it drops off. There's the... Uh, the bed of the stream but look at it, it just drops into a base we're not going to be able to wade through there it's too deep but what we can do is either bring the boat back down this way or we can start off where where the tunnel ends back to the underground well, let's go and see where that other step set of stairs leads to well we're here at the set of stairs um i tell you what i'm definitely going to need your likes to this one because uh, I just see nothing but cobwebs and spiders up there, so please, guys, in appreciation of me forcing myself up there, hit them like buttons for me. Because we're going up. You ready for it? Are you going up as well? I think we all would, I guess. Well, we have to come to the okay. Bad, so I'm going to leave my bag here, though. Alright, right, this one. Eventually.
<laughs> Yo, you have to sort me all out, bro. Can you see the thing? Where do I put it on? Right, all the way around. Uh, this might look stupid, but you know I'm the bread spider. I'm walking through an infested tunnel, so precaution. Precaution, I mean, you want to see this. Um, Yo, you rigged me up. Uh, yeah, uh... Oh, I'm going in and it's... Oh, the spider webs everywhere. Come on, you got this. Don't give up. I'm going. Oh my God. This is uh, definitely something I wouldn't normally do. Oh, oh my God. This is bad. Oh, it's slippy. It's very slippy. Oh my god. What am I doing? It's getting warmer. Oh, it's getting warmer. It goes to a small tunnel. We can't go down. It goes to a crawl space. Yeah, but you got to crawl through it. No, you can't. You've got to crawl down it. Oh, it's slippy. Oh, shit, what's that banging? Oh, oh. No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Go up to the top and have a look. I soon as you say go to the top and look. Is it a massive drop? No. Yeah. Right, we just got an amazing photo here. So if you want to see it, head over to Instagram slash exploring with fighters. You can see it right there. It's got the whole crew. Really good photo. Took quite a while and a lot of guts standing in there on spiders. You don't even know I don't like them, but I brave it, you know, I do brave it. I've gotten a lot better since Japan. Let's go. Doesn't look healthy, whatever that is. It's all the iron, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's probably corroded from that and just dripping out, but I don't get why it's solidifying at the. Yeah, it just smells weird. Okay. Actually, I can smell tar. I can smell like tarmac, like when the tar roads. Right, we're back at the start. Um, unfortunately, we've not seen anything else, any of the gravestones. So I'm a, I'm a little bit disappointed we didn't find more, but you know what? They've been here for 160 years or so. Um, there's, there's no, you know, I don't, I don't expect to be finding loads, but I'm so glad we got to see that one, which we're going to take another look at right now. Just take one last look at. But these ones here, this this perfect rectangle in here that was definitely a gravestone but it's just eroded over time but 
yeah, here's the one. The, the water's getting uh, higher. Bro, we should have just crossed here. I don't know why we didn't leave them. I don't know, but look. There you go, one last look. One of the old tombstones right there. What's that noise? I just heard. No, I just thought it hurts me. But these are tombstones here. This is part of the tombstone. Well, you can see the engravings. That, well, oh not yeah, isn't that the base of a tombstone? Yeah, it might yeah, be. Yeah, 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 that's totally the base of a tombstone. See, a lot of them might not get got a drag down, because don't forget they came from up there. Well, and think how heavy that thing is. Yeah, so you, we might actually be better off looking around this area here. So look at this one, there's a big one here boys. Oh there's fish in here. Really? Yeah, little fish. Uh, I, I just disturbed them. Only tiny ones. Look, there's one down there. It's like a it looks like a neon. Yeah. But there's a there's a couple of ones that are a couple of inches long. Look there, you can see them. Over there. Watch, watch this, watch me move. Oh yeah, that's it. Watch. See, right there. You ready? There, see him? Move then. Look. Uh, little block. There, right there. Yeah, can you see him? There's one oh, there. Oh god, you're right, there's fish in the water. <laughs> what have you done to me? <laughs> Andrew's biggest fear is fish as well. <laughs> yeah, that's Andrew's biggest fear is fish. <laughs> Sorry, bro. There is big fish in here, one just jumped out there. One just literally jumped out then. I just pray, just thank God that that didn't happen while I was crossing that deep bit earlier. I would have <laughs> flipped and pushed you out the way, man. <laughs> I'm dead serious. So it was that splash that we heard yeah, before, it was yeah. a fish. It wasn't someone throwing something in. When we're walking through the graveyard, I'm gonna I tell you what, grab, grab a couple of just twigs and throw them on the water. They'll come to, they'll come to him. Or maybe not. Please fish jump out the water. Don't jump out. I mean, unless it's over Jump there. out on Andrew. That was quite a biggish fish, that as well. Like at least four five, inches. five inches, yeah. You get in there. Whoa, we just saw two massive fish and they were fast they were swimming through here. Though. Keep your lights on the water. I want to try and get one on video. There, there. There. Whoa. Look at that. That's a big old fish. That's rapid. Oh, God, he's going to jump out. Yeah, he is. He's coming, he's coming closer. He's, oh, he's bouncing off the walls. Oh, oh, oh. bro, they're crazy fish as well. It's a good thing you didn't go near them. Yeah, they're not. They're the kind of that will suck you in, Andrew, and take you away. Turn me into a fish. Crazy fish, they bit me. <laughs> Look, sir. There's loads of them. Oh my god. <laughs> I honestly cannot believe you tried convincing me to go in there. You can see the world. Oh, oh, he's jumping out, he's jumping oh. out. It's a crazy ass fish. No, he's trying to kill Andrew. <laughs> it knows, it can smell the fear. <laughs> it can Jesus. smell the fear, Andrew. Run, run while you can. Oh my god. I just want to point out, guys, you don't already know. Andrew's terrified of fish. What's the phobia called? Uh, Ichthyophobia. I am Ichthyophobia. Ichthyophobia. They had me going in here and look at it, there's a fish. Whoa. There's a fish. There's, there's some massive fish in Whoa, here. Whoa, they're so fast. I've never seen fish go yeah. like that. They're, oh, look at the size of that one. That's like a foot long. Whoa. You all tried to convince me to go in here. <laughs> As if we were studying that before, bro. I did oh, go in there. I die. That's brilliant. That's, that's ended uh, oh, the explorer on a, a great note because. for me. That was hilarious. Oh, God. He's jumping out and everything. Oh, he's doing burnouts. <laughs> he's doing burnouts. Whoa. Oh! Bro, he's trying to get me, I swear to God. He can smell the fear, like I said. He can smell the fear. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm never coming back here. Part two, uh-uh, cancelled. Sorry. <laughs> cancelled. <laughs> oh, my God. I want to see more crazy jumping fish. Weren't I just saying as well, wouldn't it be funny if we were walking down there and a, a bunch of salmon came flopping down? <laughs> yeah, well, look, now we have salmon flopping. No, no, there. these aren't salmon, these are just crazy right. Manchester fish. I know. <laughs> <laughs> <Manchester> <laughs> they are. Fish. Fish, guys. <laughs> I'll give you a hundred pound if you go and stand in there, Andrew. Yeah. No. 
I don't need a hundred pound, man. I'm good. <laughs> I don't need a hundred pound. I hundred pound delivered through my mailbox this morning. I'm good. Okay, fine. <laughs> hey, look at these ones. 1897. So these were were put around about, what, 20 years after. And that's 20 years after the whole uh, corpses in the river incident, the Great Flood. Um, so considering, you know, how old these look, yeah, you can imagine how old those graves were. These are some cool graves. 1918, 1884, 1874, 1884, 1901, 1887. We're a couple of years off on some of them. We're looking for 1872, which would have been taken us to the same time period as the Great Flood. 1874. Uh, that one's got 1921, 1941, uh, and 1959. Three people buried in that one. 1889 so obviously if you want to see paranormal head over to Dan Vlogs or my par my vlog channel where I show everything uh, paranormal explores things that didn't make the normal channel and normal vlogs as well Dan Vlogs all is on the screen right now go and subscribe and click the bell always notify you already know That's how we do it, easy as that. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I absolutely love that. That that to me feels like we're home. That's where we belong, Underground Manchester. Don't forget part two, if we get 3,000 likes, we'll come back and do the rest of the tunnels. We'll venture off further down, we'll bring the boat. You already know. You already know, we, we, we never quit. If there's more to do, we gotta do it, but show your appreciation and smash that like button. Let me know you've enjoyed it and I'll definitely do part two. And you guys find it? It was brilliant. You guys enjoy it? Oh, funny yeah. blow. Absolutely funny. Comedy Look, all night. Looking forward to part two. Yeah? What about you, Carl? It's good, man. That's, you know, it's, it's, it's back to the roots. I mean, we first met in Manchester looking for the underground. Underground. This is it. This is like a... Almost like an anniversary. Something you know, a bit special and different. You know, the funniest thing is, so so when we, uh, me and Carl originally met, uh, we, I had like 13 K subs and you had like five. Yeah, some of And I was, like, I was like, yo... I knew I knew he was from Manchester because I used to watch some of his stuff. So I was like, "Yo, let's um, let's link up. Let's go and do some underground Manchester stuff." And uh, we wandered around Manchester for hours, and then finally found an entrance to the underground. So, oh, yeah, so history lesson right there. Fun times, boys. Right, anyway, I think it's time to wrap this up. Anyway, if you didn't already know, Dark Horse TV, it's probably Danny, Proven Demons, uh, the crew. Let's go.